welcome back guys, it's Techmaster101, no I haven't posted in a while, just been busy, but today we're back, so today we're just going to show you a uh, basic tutorial to Scribus, uh, basically it's um, like newspaper, magazine, brochure type program, and it's basically just going to be a uh, start of my series on uh, like alternative free alternatives to all the Adobe's products. So this is basically going to be InDesign, but it's going to be free. So it's very similar to InDesign CS2. So first off, we're going to open up Scribus, and then here we open up to our uh, first page where we're going to look at starting a new document. So I always like to go with four columns, and to do that, you're going to hit click automatic text frames and then you're going to go to four columns and that's going to run four columns on your page and you'll see what I mean pretty soon and we'll just run one page, a headline page, we don't need to do multiple pages and then everything else is good, just keep single page, all that stuff and then you can hit OK so now you're going to see it has this document over here and it has the four columns with these red lines separating them so this is going to be our starter So. As you see, I already got these windows open, the Align and Distribute window and the Properties window. And these are the two that I recommend you have to make a good looking newspaper, which is what we're going to make today. So to open up those, you're going to go to Windows. And there's the Properties one right here. And the Align and Distribute one right here. And once you click on the checkbox, that one's going to go away, and then you click on it again come back and it's going to be the same with this line distribute one. So basically what we're going to want to do first is create a headline. So to do that you're going to want to click on this little thing, this little text box right here. That's going to be to create a text box and make it about right here. And to make that text box you're just going to click and drag. We'll make this one there. And then you just type what you, whatever you want to type into it. So you can just type in um, the newspaper daily. And now we're gonna, if you want to change font and make that bigger so people can actually read it because it's a nice big headline, we're gonna want to highlight that whole thing. And then you can go to your text. And then here, out of this section, this bar here is gonna make it bigger or smaller. And we're gonna make it pretty big. And then we can start changing the font. To do that, we're going to right click on the font right here. So right click on this area. And then we can use the arrow keys to so shift up and down. And it's going to just keep changing those fonts. So I'll keep tapping the arrow keys. And we'll get to a headline we actually like. That's a good one. So. That's kind of a retro newspaper, but we'll go with that, and let's make it big enough to fit that entire column right there. And now we're going to see if we go over one more, it's going to go back down. And so just to get rid of that, we're just going to hit make the font a little bit smaller, and it's going to be back to that perfect size. So now we have this box right here, this text box, and we see it's bigger than the words, so we're going to want to shift that by clicking this little arrow key right here. Then you're gonna click and drag up so your box your text box is as big as the title there. And now what we can do is add a subtitle, which is gonna be basically the location and date. So we're gonna put that right below within our text box. And we can just make this in Antarctica. Antarctica, Antarctica. And then make the date. Uh, Jan Christmas, January 25th, 2023. So, this is going to be kind of a futuristic newspaper, I guess, made it that way. But now we're going to make that text box fit the text. So, we're going to hit the select tool and drag it in, and drag it up. And now we're going to want to center it with this news with the headline we have here, the newspaper daily headline. So what we're going to do, do that is when we already have one selected, hold the shift button and then select the newspaper daily, and that's going to select everything. So and then to center this, we have a little align and distribute window right here, and you're going to hit this one, which is the 
center on vertical axis. Now it's going to center those right there. And then we can move them over to the right a little bit so it fits perfectly. I'm doing that, I'm using the arrow keys. And that's good. So now what we're going to want to do is add a headline or add a little line below the title for effect. To do that, we're going to use the line tool, which is right up here. Insert line. And just draw a line across. Uh, make that a little bit lower, so I have the down arrow. And then what we're going to want to do is use this properties tool and go to line. And then make it a two point line. And I'll go with these little dashes right here. So now we're going to select, we have a little line under our newspaper daily. So after that, what we're going to want to do is insert a uh, text frame. So to do that, we're just going to hit insert image frame. And let's make a big three column picture. Down to there. Now we're going to have an image frame. And we're going to want to insert a picture into that so we can right click and hit get image. And then let's just go with this bacon and eggs picture I have right here. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to fit this image to the frame. To do that, we're going to right click and hit adjust image frame. And that's going to make it fit that frame. So now what we can do is shorten the full image frame to fit that. So now we got our bacon and eggs right there. And then, so after we've done all that, we can add, uh, let's add a headline on the left. With a little text box. Let's just say, bacon and eggs are world's number one breakfast. And then we can make that into a little bit of a subtitle headline. To do that, we can go to the text again and right click on Arial and make it more of a subtitle headline, which is good there, and make it just a little bit bigger. So now what we're going to want to do is add another text box for our text. And I'm actually not going to um, actually type in this text box. I'm just going to use the sample text. So to do that, you're just, I'm just going to insert sample text and in English, and then we'll just make it some sample text in there. And then we're going to want to have a caption under those bacon and eggs. So we can just put a little text frame right here. And just write classic bacon and eggs breakfast. So if you want to add maybe another um, story down here, but you don't necessarily have to. It's not really that big of a deal. But I can just add story down here with some sample text. And then add a title and just say... Ham is jealous of bacon and eggs. So, and you can make that like more of a subtitle by just selecting it. Oh, come on. There we go. Text, and then get a little bit bigger. Just doing that. So, that can be your subtitle. And, guys, that's about it for making a newspaper. That's just a basic tool to subscribe us. Um, that's just a basic headline page. I didn't make it look too pretty, but that's just a basic idea and concept of you guys. So, um, slap a like on it if you feel like it, and thank you guys.